Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is how to buy an electronic drum kit on any budget. What I'm hoping to help you out with today in this video is to show you the different options in electronic drum kits whether you are a total beginner, new to drums, or a seasoned professional and the options you can get in those particular drum kits. So what I have in front of me today are a few different options from more affordable to mid-priced, sort of higher mid-priced, and all the way up to our Mac Daddy most expensive electronic drum kit over there, the Roland TD50. You get different options depending on what you pay for, of course. And I also want to mention here before I even get started that there are just a ton of electronic drum kits that we sell here at Sweetwater. This is by no means all of them. Every brand has a lot of different options, so make sure you check out the product pages of those specific electronic drum kits or talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer. There's lots of information. There's all kinds of video content on Sweetwater's YouTube channel and again on the product pages of specific drum kits where I get really deep into the options of the drum kits, the brains, the sounds, how to use the drum kits and all of that. So make sure you check out those pages. Let's start over with our most affordable drum kit. Let me show you what you get there. I chose the Roland TD-1K as the sort of most affordable drum kit in this lineup. Again, there's other affordable drum kits around this same price range, but with the Roland TD-1K, it's a really nice beginner's electronic drum kit. It's also really cool if you live in an apartment or somewhere where volume is an issue because it's not very loud at all. With this particular kit, you get rubber pads that don't make much noise. So I got my sticks here just so you can hear the sound of the pads and how quiet they really are. Check this out. Not much noise there at all. Same with the cymbal pads. So if you live in an apartment that has really thin walls and you can normally hear your neighbors walking above you or next to you, you can play this all night long and they will never hear anything. Put your headphones on and you're good to go. With this kit, you get a smaller rack, a smaller footprint. You can put this in a corner of a room very easily. Everything's compacted right to this one little frame. The brain is mounted right in the middle so you can easily touch it and change your kits. This particular kit just has 15 drum kits on the inside, but it has coaching features, a metronome, uh, songs in the inside that you can play along to, so a lot of really cool things. And the sounds in this Roland TD-1 kit are quite impressive, so you get great uh, electronic sounds and acoustic drum sounds to practice with. Another cool feature about this particular kit is the pedals. The pedals are connected to a kick drum pad like in some of the other kits so you can move the pedal wherever you want and get comfortable when you're sitting down behind the kit. Same with the hi-hat pedal. So if you want to sit with wider feet or more narrow feet you can put them wherever you want. It's really easy to set up. A few other things to mention about a kit in this price range which is really cool is you have a USB port on the side of the brain right here that can be a MIDI port USB to MIDI. So you can connect this brain to your computer and your DAW and play software instruments that are on your computer like Superior Drum or something like that and get a ton of other sounds so you can have an endless array of sounds to play with this little drum kit. It also has a mix input over here on the side so you can plug in your phone or anything else like that, an mp3 player and play along to your favorite songs and there's a headphone jack as well. Now I'm going to switch over to the next kit here on my left, the next level up and this is the Alesis Command Mesh drum kit. Now you spend a little bit more money and look what you get. You get a nice chrome rack, more pads, some bigger sized pads, and a brain that does a lot more. So let me give you a few details about this particular drum kit. Now Alesis makes a lot of great electronic drum kits. You have lots of options there and their price range is really competitive. Now to get a mesh kit in this price range is super cool. Now check out the sound and the volume of the mesh pad as compared to the rubber pad on the rolling kit over there on my right. Here's how quiet it is. Not very loud at all. And the advantage of a mesh head on the pad here is that you could tune it tighter and or gushier, more mushy of a feeling. However your playing style is, you can set it up to exactly how you want it to feel. I'd like to point out when you get to this kit here, the Command Mesh Kit, you have a kick drum pad and it comes with an Alesis kick drum pedal. So it's a step up to something more like a regular drum kit. But you also get the separate hi-hat pedal that doesn't have a stand, so you can move the hi-hat pedal wherever you want, wider or more narrow. Also stepping up to this kit, you get a bigger snare drum pad, 
Bigger pads are cool, there's just more room to play, right? Three eight inch pads for your toms and nice feeling cymbals. Very quiet. They're all dual zone and they all have chokeable features. That means when you hit the crash cymbal and you grab it, the sound stops just like an acoustic cymbal. This brain comes with 50 user drum kits and over 600 sounds. So everything under the sun from acoustic, electronic and percussion sounds and other things as well. You have 20 user presets where you can customize your own drum kit so you can mix and match sounds, do whatever you want. The Brain also has USB to MIDI, that great feature where you can connect it to your DAW and play other software sounds. You can also load in your own samples via USB. So if, if you have a big sound library of your own, load it right into the Command Brain and play those sounds on this kit. There's 70 play along songs inside the Command Brain. There's coaching features, metronomes, all of those same things to help your playing improve and to just have a ton of fun. You can also expand your kit with the Command Mesh kit here because it has two other trigger inputs for another crash and another tom. So move up in price a little bit, get a bigger brain with more options, mesh pads, you can even expand the kit, lots of cool things here. So now I'm going to take you to another level up to the Yamaha kit right here. This is the DTX 6K2. Lots of cool options here taking you up into the next level even more professional. You can use this kit, you can use any of these kits on a live stage in a live setting. But when you get up here, you have a great DTX Pro drum brain over here. The rubber pads, the silicone snare pad, these great cymbals, a regular hi-hat stand, a kick drum pad you can use with a pedal, a double pedal or a single pedal. So you're getting up into that next level where you could record with this kit, uh, make videos with this kit, use it in a live setting. Let's get into some of the features. On this Yamaha kit, the tom pads are rubber and they have a really cool feeling. So rubber pads are not a downgrade from mesh pads, they're just a different feeling. So it depends on what you're into and that kind of feel of your stick. A rubber pad is more like playing on a practice pad. You're going to get a little bit of a different rebound on a rubber pad than you are on a mesh pad. But you know, you can't tune a rubber pad. It has that feel. It's just something you're going to need to experiment with to see if you like it better than a mesh pad. So here is the sound of the rubber pads. Again, really super quiet. Feels really good, nice rebound in the hands and super quiet. So again, you can play this kit and any of these kits in any quiet situation. So stepping up into this price range, you got a great kick drum pad. Check this out. It has a big sturdy metal frame that's really easy to put together. And again, you can connect a single or a double pedal. There's plenty of room for both. And you have this really cool feeling kick drum pad here that's a rubber pad, but it gives, it feels more like an acoustic kick drum. You know, you don't get as much rebound on an acoustic kick drum as you do on your snare or even a tom. It's a little bit deader, right? So you have to, it makes you work a little bit harder. You have to use your muscles in your ankle when you're playing your kick drum pedal. You get that same sort of feel with this kick drum pad. It is very cool. But one of the highlights as far as the pads are concerned on this DTX kit here is the triple zoned textured silicone snare pad. Triple zone. So you get center, edge, and everywhere in between. And it has a really cool feel. feels really cool. It has a little bit more of a gushier feeling, if gushy is a word, you know, a little softer feeling than the regular rubber tom pad, which is a little bit harder. Even a little softer sound just here playing the pads with no sounds from the brain going on. You also get bigger and more natural feeling cymbals on this Yamaha kit. Nice rubber feeling. Quiet, but see how they move a lot, more like a regular cymbal would. Let me show you the inside here real quick. This little piece right here keeps the cymbal in place and doesn't make it move too much, but also allows it to move some. Put your wing nut on. If you tighten it down real hard, it's going to move less. But if you give it a little bit of leeway there, when you hit the cymbal with your stick, it moves back and forth kind of like a regular acoustic cymbal does. So it makes it more natural feeling. Also with this kit, moving up in price, you also get a Yamaha hi-hat stand, a regular acoustic hi-hat stand. So you can also use this with your acoustic drum kit too. It's easy to attach the electronic hi-hat. 
It comes with its own special clutch and its own pad here at the bottom, which holds the hi-hat pad in place. It's rubber on the bottom and this connection, along with the rubber pad here on the bottom, is what gives you the, the hi-hat sound, the opening and closing sound. And super quiet there as well. I'm not hearing pretty much anything. And Yamaha hardware, as far as acoustic drums are concerned, is some of the best in the business. They make great hardware. So getting a real Yamaha hi-hat stand with this kit is a great upgrade. Now what puts this Yamaha kit into that more professional area is the brain, the DTX Pro. It's a really simple, easy to use brain, but it has a lot of great sounds in it. It comes with 400 sounds, 40 preset kits, but you can also customize up to 200 of your own kits. And they really thought about the sounds in a great way. So you get all kinds of really great acoustic sounds, electric sounds, percussion sounds, everything you can think of. But what's also really cool is that you can manipulate the sounds with the knobs right on board. So you can adjust ambience, compression, and effects just by turning the knobs. So while you're playing, customizing your sound, you don't have to deep dive into any menu, just grab a knob and go. So it's super easy to use in that way. There's lots of inputs and outputs. There's USB to MIDI on this one as well. There's also a USB slot to connect a USB key to add your own samples. So lots of options here with the DTX Pro. It's a really nice brain. Last but not least in today's video is the Roland TD50. This has been for a long time the high-end kit out there from a lot of drummers. It's used by professionals all over the world on huge arena stages. In the studio, you can do a lot with this kit. And there's lots of great features. So let's get into them right now. The first thing you may notice with this Roland TD50 are the sizes of the pads. Real sizes that mimic acoustic drums. In particular, the snare drum pad. A 14-inch snare drum pad. That's the typical size of almost every snare drum out there. It's big, it's comfortable, and it feels like playing on an acoustic kit. The Roland TD50 has great mesh heads. Again, you can tune these mesh heads just like you could tune the Elisa's mesh heads over there. Tighten up the feel, loosen up the feel, get it to wherever you want. And they're really quiet as well. Now, I've been using this kit for a while, so it feels really good under my hands. I've kind of customized it to my own liking. This is the kit that I use in my office and on a ton of videos here at Sweetwater. You could tune up these heads to give them pitches. And if you want to just practice rudiments or practice, you know, your independence without hearing any sounds from the brain, you can make them tighter and lower and give each pad a little bit of a pitch. This one's a little higher pitched than the bigger one over here. So even though I'm not making any sound from the brain or even connected to the brain, I can hear pitch differences and work on my independence and work on speed, all kinds of things, just by playing the pads on their own. Another cool thing about the TD50 is that you get digital pads for the snare drum and the ride cymbal. The ride cymbal is nice and big and you connect these two pads digitally with a USB cable to the back of the TD50 brain. And what makes this sort of high end and more professional is it acts like a real acoustic snare drum. Now, if you want to get a side stick sound from your acoustic drum, you put your hand on the drum, turn your stick over, play the rim, and you get that woody metallic sound. You don't normally get that with an electronic pad. You usually have to hit the rim of the drum like that to hear the side stick sound. But with these Roland digital pads, when I put my hand on the pad, it reads like the electronic current from my hand and turns the sound that is on the rim into the side stick sound, just like an acoustic drum. So when I don't have my hand on the pad and I play the rim, you'll hear the rim like a rim shot of an acoustic drum. When I put my hand on it and hit the side, you're gonna hear the side stick sound. Really cool. And there's a lot of great features on the ride cymbal, like the bell and the edge. You get nice wash, it really reacts like an acoustic cymbal. Also with this TD50 is a very sturdy, very professional rack. Now you're gonna see some wiring already connected on the rack here, which is different than the other kits over there. I don't have any of the wiring on the other kits over there. I kept them nice and clean. But with the TD50, the wiring goes through the tubes. It's already preset that way. So it's a nice, clean, and easy setup. The wiring is always there for you, and it's easy to plug in. You can tear down and set up in a jiffy. Then probably the best thing about the TD50 is the brain. This is sort of like the Mac Daddy brain. There's, there's everything you can think of as a professional in the TD50 brain. 
And this is an older version because again, this is my own personal kit. But even the newer version has all of this and more. Lots of sound options, creating your own sounds, putting in your own samples, again using this as a USB interface so you connect it to your DAW, you record directly into your Pro Tools sessions or Ableton sessions or, or whatever DAW you use. It just sounds great. You can really mix and match things, add all kinds of different effects and ambience, compression, and really dial in the sound exactly how you want it. There's a few other special mentions I want to talk to you about before we end this video today because I couldn't show you everything here in this room. So I want to mention the Pearl Emerge drum kit, a fantastic professional drum kit. Great size pads, feels really good. And also the Pearl Mimic Pro, the brain that I have right here. What's cool about this brain is that Pearl, coupled with Steven Slate, who's a great engineer and sound maker in Los Angeles, and he has a lot of sound libraries, makes great drum sounds. The Mimic Pro is filled with Steven Slate's sounds. There's tons of in and out options, 16 in and 16 out. So really professional features on the output here. And you can add pads from any other manufacturer to use with the Pearl Mimic Pro. So it's really cool. You don't have to buy Pearl pads if you don't want to. If you like the feel of Yamaha or Alesis or Roland pads, you can use it with the Pearl Mimic Pro. So you can really customize an electronic drum kit with this fantastic brain. Another great honorable mention that's very professional is the Roland TD27 brain that you can get in a couple different configurations. You can get the TD27 KV kit that comes with great Roland pads and this fantastic, really easy to use brain. Tons of sounds, lots of in and out options, a really cool and easy to look at LED display. The knobs are color coded so you can know exactly what you're doing in the different menus. It's a lot of fun. I did a very deep dive video about the TD27. You can check out the link below to watch that video. But also what's really cool are the drums that you can get with the TD27. Roland makes a Roland electronic kit that utilizes the TD27 is the Roland VAD506. And check out the drum you get with that kit. Now this is like a real kick drum. Check this thing out. It's heavy like a real kick drum. It looks just like a drum, has a really cool black metallic finish. And it's really neat. So what Roland is trying to do is to make the feel and the experience of an electronic kit more like playing acoustic drums. So not only do you have the acoustic feeling and looking kick drum, you also have toms and snare drums that utilize real wood shells, but have mesh heads, electronic inputs you use with the great TD27 brain, and you have a fantastic looking and great sounding electronic drum kit that just will wow all your friends and look great on any stage. You can have a lot of fun with a kit like that. You can also get drums like this to add to your TD50 kit and totally customize a drum kit. You can buy just the drums and the brain separately and customize your electronic experience however you want. Okay, you can even add some of these electronic pieces to your acoustic drum kit and have a hybrid setup. So there's lots of options out there. Thank you everybody for taking the time to hang out with me today about this video on electronic drum kits at any budget. There's tons of options out there, whether you're spending a little bit of money or you have a lot of money to spend. I definitely wanna encourage you again to check out the links below and also check out the video links on Sweetwater's website and Sweetwater's YouTube channel because again, I demoed a lot of these electronic drum kits where I go deep into the sounds, the feeling, how the brains work. There's a lot of great information there. Also, the product pages for all of these kits on Sweetwater's website will give you a ton more information. And if you wanna take it even higher and get even more info, make sure you talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer. Those guys and gals that we have on our sales floor are total experts, and they can give you all of the info you'd ever want about every electronic drum kit we have for sale here at Sweetwater. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right over there for more videos just like this one, or go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument, electronic drums, and pro audio needs.